Welcome to another video for women's health using Qigong. In this video, we're going to be focusing on menstrual health. If you want to get right to the Qigong, check the video index below and go ahead and get started. I'm going to take just a few minutes though and go over where uh, menstrual problems and menstrual health come from. If you suffer from any menstrual problems, severe cramping, PMS, headaches, migraines, PCOS even, if you have any growth with it, growth with growths <laughs> within the uterus that can affect your menstrual cycle, this is a great opportunity for you to begin working on some of the causes of those problems. If you have none of those problems, this is also a great Qigong sequence for you to do because it will keep your energy moving and everything in balance. Healthy menstrual cycles, which are defined as a stable cycle, whether 25 to 28 days, some women might even be a little shorter or a little longer, come from healthy movement of qi and blood in your body in particular, the liver chi. When we have liver chi stagnation, um, that affects the blood in our body. The liver cleanses the blood, it stores the blood at night, and is, it helps everything flow and move to help our uterus create that just perfect lining that it can slough off easily within four to five days. And again, each woman will have variations. The ideal is to have a brilliant red blood that isn't clotted, that isn't too sparse or faint, too pink, too orange. Just that beautiful, rich red blood that has a nice flow for those four days. When you have stagnation, think of it as you've got a hose and you're watering a watering hose and you get a crimp in it and it gets blocked and nothing can get through. There's going to be a lot of problems or you can even think of an unhealthy river that is blocked and everything gets backed up. You get muck and the, nothing can be healthy. Nothing can grow. The same is true for your internal microbiome of your liver, your stomach, your kidney is also very important for your menstrual cycle as well as your uterus. So these Qigong postures have been curated and carefully designed in particular to work on breaking up that stagnation, most importantly in the liver. We are also going to go ahead and activate other meridians that help you have a healthy menstrual cycle, as well as ending with some beautiful flowing heart postures that enable the blood within your body to move fluidly, to nourish all of your organs. So let's go ahead and get started. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure that you message us um, by leaving a comment, or you can also go to radiantshenti.com and contact us there. Have enough space around you that you can do some moving postures. We'll begin with centering our body, centering our energy, doing a little bit of movement to activate our chi, and then we'll go into our incredible flowing postures. Stand with your feet hip to shoulder width apart. Rotate, rock back and forth, and then come solidly on all five toes, the insides and outsides of the balls of your feet and your heels. Lengthen the spine up as you tuck the tailbone and let the perineum move towards the ground. Lengthen your spine. The crown of your head should be reaching up to the sky. Inhale your hands out to the side, palms up. Bring them all the way up and then exhale them down through center. We'll do that three more times. This is called natural respiration or pulling down the heavens. This lets us calm our energy, lengthen our breath, and come into the present moment. It also begins to move your chi. One more time. Deep inhale and exhale down. 
Make sure you have room to the sides and behind you. We're gonna begin knocking. And we're going to knock across our lower abdomen. You move from the waist and the hips and your hands just follow effortlessly. Just let them hit in front and hit in the back. In the front, you wanna make sure your arm and your hand are hitting. I'm gonna slow down. You can keep moving at this pace, but I want to show you how you're hitting or patting. So you really bring the hand so the forearm hits across this lower area, which is your conception vessel meridians. And then we also are opening up and giving a nice little bit of energy to right around the, where our uterus is. So this is really great to get that all opened up. As we turn from side to side, we're also giving a massage to our stomach, our liver, our heart, our lungs. And this will all help you break up that chi stagnation, which causes menstrual problems. Breathe softly as you do this. Never hold your breath. Smile. It's always nice to have a smile as you do your qigong. It increases your energy. Really firmly let your hands hit in the front and the back. In the back, we're hitting along um, the spine and um, hitting some bladder points as well. So that helps our kidney energy too. We'll do a few more. And now slow it down. And release. Just feel the chi, begin to feel that chi moving within you. And we're going to place one hand on the lower abdomen and another on the chest and do some wave breathing. We're gonna just kind of bring up this air. And again, this is a great way to massage and break up chi stagnation. Inhale, and as you inhale, let your tummy poof out from your diaphragm filling. Then fill out your middle torso, middle torso, upper chest. And as you exhale, release the chest, upper chest, middle chest, and squeeze in the lower abdomen. Do this at your own pace with deep inhales as long as you can. Filling from the bottom up and emptying your air from the top down. Really squeeze at the bottom. We want to activate these meridian points on the Ren Conception um, meridian line. Exhale, squeeze in. This also gives you a massage on the right side under the rib cage for your liver. Remember, fill from the bottom up and exhale and empty from the top down. Do one more breath, inhale. And exhale, good, and release. Now we're gonna do some padding along the legs, which will help us compress and massage this lower area, and at the same time, activate the meridian meridians that support the uterus and the blood. We'll pat, begin by patting on the inner legs, working on the spleen, liver, and kidney points. Then we'll move to the outside, working on some gallbladder points, the back for bladder points, and the front for stomach. So let's go ahead and as you come forward, really pat firmly. You can do loose fist or you can do open hands. Let your spine just come down, let your head hang heavy, and really pat firmly. We're activating the chi. Now we'll come to the outside. Again, you can do your fist, loose fist, or an open hand. Either way is great. Again. And one more time. Coming back up, and for the back of the legs, keep your hands open. You really want to pat firmly along these bladder points here. And notice this incredible movement 
that helps you like a pump. You get everything flowing, the energy, which is called chi, and the blood. Now pat along the fronts of your legs. The hands are still open. Really firmly feel that you're generating the energy. One more time. And now come up and just pat on your knees and bend your knees. A lot of blood can get stuck in the legs, so we want to make sure we're opening up the energy and blood there. This will help create that nice lining that you want for a healthy period. And release. We're going to continue activating this chi, and you can actually tune in, feel the legs. If you feel a little buzzing and tingling, that is your chi moving there. And you can feel it in your hands. That is already a sign that you're healing your body by moving and breaking up chi stagnation. We're going to do a little tiptoe walking to continue activating and opening our meridians. When you tiptoe walk, really press on your big toe, on your big toes. This is liver, the liver point starts here. So this is a great way to begin this movement. A lot of other important meridians begin and end in the feet. So it's wonderful just to get that blood flowing. Keep walking if you're able. If you're struggling, you can just bring up a foot and let the heel come down. Really put the pressure, maybe even gently lift and put the foot down. And when you get stronger, you can come and do the full tiptoe walk. Everyone's at a different level of ability and there's always a modification. We'll just do a little bit more as you're walking. Really feel those big toes activating, opening up the meridians and energy of the feet. And go ahead and we're going to do a little bouncing of the heels now and shaking of the body. This lets up any blockages, lets, <laughs> lets any blockages clear, release into the ground, get your head moving, get the shoulders in, and pause. Feel the chi buzzing and tingling within you, opening up the channels of energy. We'll begin now by begin moving our chi. This is called opening the chi. Bring your palms up towards your chest and then turn the hands over and exhale them just down by your belly button, a little below. Inhale to chest height. Exhale, release. If these longer inhales and exhales are hard for you, that's okay. Just breathe gently. You'll, your breath will get longer, and that's a sign of lung health, and it will come with practice. As you come up and down, you bend your knees as you lower, and lift, straighten the knees. Don't lock them, just let them come a little bit straighter as you come up. Make sure to keep your tailbone tucked, the perineum reaching like there's a heavy weight pulling it to the ground. Envision that your feet are really sinking. There's like roots coming from the bottom of your feet. Good five, six feet into the earth. Just picture that connection because that will allow you to draw in chi, energy from the earth. Even if you're in a building, you can imagine it going through the building, down into the earth, like a tree. The liver is associated with the wood element. And you'll see we have a tree posture later to help, a flowing posture. And it goes a long way to healing the liver when we Use this tree imagery and draw in energy. Let's do one more cycle coming up and then down. And release. We're going to do a little bit of stretching before we go into our flows. 
bring both hands, palms up towards your, towards your chest. Let the right hand turn down and the left hand extend up. This opens important meridian lines of the heart and pericardium, which is the layer that protects the heart. And again, we're talking about blood and blood flow. When the blood flows, we can have a healthy menstrual cycle. When it's blocked and she is blocked, we have many problems that we mentioned at the beginning. We'll do one more, um, actually we'll do this one and then one more full set. Pressing out, opening up. This also expands and gives space for your liver, your spleen and stomach, which help keep a wonderful microbiome to nourish and cleanse the blood. Now feel that opening you just created. It's wonderful. We'll do one more stretching posture. Bring your left hand to your lower back. The back of the hand is on the back. This again is going to be a nice internal massage for our beautiful liver to break up any stagnation in the chi. Bring the other hand over so it just touches lightly on the neck behind you. The feet are about shoulder or wider apart. Go ahead and lift up and then bend towards the hand that's in back. And look down at the ground. Come back up to center. Release, change your hands and we'll go to the other side. Again, this is about opening and creating space. We wanna clear that creek, we wanna clear the river so our energy can flow and we don't get muck and algae and gunk, right? We want everything crystal clear. And last one. Come back to center, beautiful. We've warmed and opened the body, we've given it this this, op this awareness of the energy within it. And now we're going to let that energy flow. Just as you flow with your movements, you're sending signals to your body that it can flow. You let your uterus know that it can let go if it's been holding or if it's flowing too much, it's strenuous and it won't stop, it can calm. It can have the right environment to have this healthy, beautiful menstrual cycle. We're going to begin with two liver postures and finish with one heart flowing posture. Begin with your hands in front of you, palms up in a nice big embrace, if you will, down low. You're gonna turn at the waist, the hips, and then the shoulders to the side. Bring your arms up and allow your fingers to point at the top of your head as you come and face back forward. Release the hands and bring the palms to the ground. This is called tree swaying. You just feel the earth energy coming up through your roots, through your legs and your spine. This conduit, this unbroken flow of energy to strengthen your liver and relax into this energy. As you turn, it's great to inhale, continue inhaling as you bring your hands towards the head and exhale, float the hands down. And as you do this inhale all the way up, draw in and feel the energy. And as you exhale, picture the gunk and muck and blockages moving into the earth to be recycled. Turn. Just envision this beautiful organism that is your body. healing, feeling nourished and loved from your energy. 
It's not your enemy, even though you might be struggling with your periods and cramping. It's not, your body is there to help you. It wants to feel better. It wants a beautiful period. And we'll do one more on both sides. Exhale, let go of the blockages. Inhale, fill up with beautiful energy and lightness and release. Now we'll do um, Repulse the Monkey. And in this posture, we're working on our mind. Uh, we call it a monkey mind in Chinese medicine where it's just going crazy everywhere. And that creates, the body freezes up, right? It goes into fight or flight mode and stresses and adrenal glands and everything's freaking out. So what this does is it allows us to open and flow to let go. And so what you're going to do is you're going to bring one hand forward facing down and the other palm is going to be pulled back with your elbow. And as it comes back, you bring the hand out and as that hand comes out, the front hand now turns up and you bend the hand and bring it through the palms going over each other. So on the other side, you can see now the hand comes back and you can gaze back at it or keep your head forward. That front palm turns up and you move through. As you pull back, you inhale and as you come forward, you exhale. As you come back and inhale, you draw in calm, beautiful energy for your liver and you let go as you push forward. So this easy movement of drawing in and letting go. This is incredible. Think of the turning we're doing, right? This is a wonderful massage to break up blockages within the physical parts of the body, right? Not just the energy, but the actual physical um, cleansing we need to do. Massage releases tension, it releases stuck stuff. Just like when you get a massage on the outside and the masseuse just really lets everything release and let go, that's what this does inside. We'll do one more. And now bring both hands to the chest height and down. Or do you have two more flows, one for the heart and one to center all of that energy and goodness? We'll do cloudy hands. Bring one hand, the fingers, the hands, palm facing down out in front of you and the other hand is in a nice big hug in front of your heart and you inhale as your hips and torso are turned to the side again that twisting motion exhale as you draw across to the other side imagine you're drawing energy in from the clouds the sky filling the space between your chest and your hand with this Beautiful. You can picture a ruby red energy. The heart pumps our blood that the liver cleanses. And when our heart is calm, it can pump blood more efficiently. If we work out too hard, we can exhaust our heart. We need both, you know, that calm energy as well especially if you're struggling with your menstrual cycle. If you're over exercising and exerting too much pressure, um, strain on your body, you will have problems with the heart as well as problems with creating enough blood. Inhale, exhale, let go 
as you sweep across. Inhale, this will be our last one. Exhale and flow. Bring one hand, palm facing up at the center, feet together. Bring the other hand out, inhale and gaze at the hand as you bring it around and down through center. Inhale the other hand up and exhale down. If your balance is weak, step your feet apart, that's okay. And if you need to just have a relaxed breath, you can't do the long inhales and exhales, that's also okay. Envision this beautiful centering of your chi. You've awakened your energy, you've moved your energy. You've let your liver and heart know that you are a partner with them for healthy periods, for beautiful, beautiful cycles. That's a huge part of healing being a partner with your body. Do one more. Actually, we'll do one more after this one to, to even out. Now bring both hands um, just below and kind of like on top of your belly button, left hand on the, on the stomach, right hand on top for Qigong. Close your eyes and just let your body rock and sway. Don't control the energy. This lets your chi move wherever it needs to go, allowing the energy to flow. Rock and sway. Feeling the warmth and the openness you've generated. Take one more deep breath. Thank you for joining us. Again, please feel free to leave any questions or comments. Let us know about other videos you might be interested in. This came from uh, a subscriber's um, recommendation. <clears throat> and you can always contact us directly at radiantshenti.com. Have a beautiful rest of your um, day or evening. <laughs>